الحمد للہ والصلاة والسلام على رسول اللہ وعلى علی وصحابی اجمعین اما بعد اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وقل جاء الحق وزاق الباطل ان الباطل کان زوگا رب شلی سطری ویسل لی امری وحل العبدت من لسان یفکہ وکولی اول کم آل افیو ود اسلامی گریٹنگ السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ میں پیس مرسی اور بلسنگز of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of Almighty God, be on all of you. I was shocked at reading, listening, and viewing the media trial done by the Indian media on the Indian satellite television channels, on the news channels, as well as in the Indian print media, regarding the news article that came in the Daily Star, on the 3rd of July 2016 that one of the terrorists who was involved in the terrorist attack in Dhaka in Bangladesh on the 1st of July 2016 was inspired by Dr. Zakir Naik. And just a couple of days later the same Daily Star of Bangladesh it gave an article that they never ever said that the terrorist was inspired by Dr. Zaki Nai for killing innocent human beings. They have retracted the statement and they also rectified the statement that when they mentioned I was banned in Malaysia, it was an error. I want to know the Indian media, the Indian satellite news channels, the Indian print media, the vigor and the amount that they publicized that I was responsible for inspiring the Bangladeshi terrorist and I inspired terrorist for the last few days they have been giving as headlines that I inspire terrorist and I am a terrorist also. I want to know Will the Indian media, the satellite channels, and the newspapers run the apology in the same vigor, in the same big manner, giving in headlines that since the source where they got this information from has retracted its information, will the Indian media do the same? And I'm sure they will not do it. That is the reason. In the next one hour, I would be giving the replies, if not to all, at least most of the major allegations laid by the media regarding myself and my activities. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may He open the doors of the listeners and may they be guided to the truth. As Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Isra, Chapter number 17, verse number 81. Allah says, وَقُلْ جَا لَكْ وَزَاكَ الْبَاطِلِ إِنَّ الْبَاطِلِ كَانَ الزَّوْكَ When Suthi Dhulag in falsehood, falsehood perishes. For falsehood is by its nature bound to perish. وَأَخْرِ الدَّعْوَانَ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ